How to be an intellectual. It takes less physical energy to drive to work. Perhaps it's even more pleasant, time saving, and convenient than walking. In fact, it is no big deal. But do you know that you aren't going to be expending physical energy if you drive everywhere you go or spend your life being driven by an unmanned vehicle? What's the point we're trying to get at? Your muscles will become stale over time, and your physical condition will eventually grow weaker and probably lead to weight gain. As a result, your overall health and general well being will decline immensely. Your brain also needs stimulating activities, hence, regular exercise. So, If you stop using your spatial awareness skills, cognitive skills, logical skills, and especially your problem solving skills, how then do you expect your brain to stay performing optimally? Consider the present modern conveniences that have proved to be helpful to mankind, but can deteriorate your abilities when you solely depend on them. A common example the use of the autocorrect and spell check feature, which was invented to help us improve our writing, has made us into the worst spellers. Because we are so accustomed to the computer catching all of our mistakes as a result of relying on them for so long. Don't you think so? Can you think of other common examples? The use of technology can be necessary at most times, but there are times when it is better to make use of your brain and forget about shortcuts. This scenario is doable if you can lay your hands on these two expensive resources and use them wisely energy and time. Life Learning Lessons A simple way to improve your intellectual capacity generally is to accept your own shortcomings in life. You will never know everything, regardless of how smart you are. Does that sound depressing? No. Actually, it is uplifting. We are all flawed humans, rising and falling throughout life, trying to do the best despite. Our limitations. Mistakes are healthy. Knowing that no one is perfect is important because it gives us the freedom to make mistakes. Mistakes are a tool for learning, and as such, they present great lessons to us. So accept your mistakes because they are agents of teaching and learning. Does that suffice? Not at all. Your brain is instilled within you, and what you need to do is put forth extra effort to develop your neural synapses to an even higher level. Remember, your goal here is to improve your intellectual capacity, despite the environment you may find yourself. By laying aside your electronic gadgets once in a while, Engaging yourself in the process of self reflection and problem solving, as well as spatial skills, your brain will thank you. Ways to sharpen mental cognition and retention. Using the following strategies can help improve your overall cognition and ability to learn new information. However, you must. Take these steps to achieve the desired result. Number one, learn through diverse repetition. Repetition is one of the golden rules of learning. The brain responds faster to new ideas, so repeating something in a different way and at a different time will allow you to build strong memories of such ideas. You can start off with these steps. Take notes of the information in your own words. 
Repeat a word or a name after you hear it for the first time. Try paraphrasing what somebody says to you. Number two, get organized. Organizing and writing down information will help to reinforce learning and boost retention. In this regard, a smartphone calendar or day planner can serve as a notepad to write down anything you would like to remember or help you keep track of activities and events. Take the assignment below. Jot down conversations, thoughts, and experiences. Review current events as well as events done previously, probably at dinner, etc. Were these events able to increase your mental engagement as to why they happened, what their likely causes were, and what about the facts and figures? Number three, take a cue. When you find it difficult recalling a sentence, word, or fact, you can give related details or talk around that word or fact. How can you take a cue? Use an alarm or timer to remind yourself of tasks as well as appointments. Place any object related to the task you must do in a prominent position at home. These strategies will help to extend the capacity of your short-term memory by forming information together instead of toiling to remember each piece of information independently. In addition, try to involve as many senses as possible by relating information to colors, tastes, smells, and textures. The physical act of rewriting information can help store it in your brain. Finally, as we round off this discussion, we would like to leave you with a departing question to ponder about. Do you think by implementing these strategies you will increase your brain capacity as well as improve your intelligence quotient? What other ways do you think will help to increase your intellectual capacity? Games? Physical exercises? Getting adequate rest? and so forth?